Hi, my name is Dave and we're here at Radio World today to talk about the Flex Maestro, the user interface for the 6000 series from Flex Radio. Now the Maestro is designed to replace a computer so that uh, someone who doesn't have a computer can still benefit from uh, the features of the Flex uh, 6000 series. It's also designed around uh, portability. You can uh, use the Wi-Fi in the Maestro through your Wi-Fi system at home to connect with the radio and you can be completely portable. Now, the thing uh, in starting out, turning the radio on will bring up a screen which will uh, give you the Wi-Fi selections and it's much the same as uh, connecting up a, a cell phone or any other household uh, Wi-Fi appliance. Once you get that, you get a screen which will uh, tell you what version, what radio is available to you and what version of software can be run. Once you make those selections, this screen will come up. Okay, I'm going to uh, power up the Maestro and that is done by holding this button down for approximately three seconds. Now while the maestro is firing up, I'll explain that um, there is a Wi-Fi connection in here that you can use to connect up to your home Wi-Fi system. The Flex uh, Maestro can run any of the 6000 series radios uh, completely independent. And you can see now it's beginning to come on. And I'm going to uh, get a screen coming up in just a little while that's going to uh, show me all the Wi-Fi systems that are available. In this corner I have a connected uh, button. That is there because I am already connected with the Flex 6300 we have here with an Ethernet cable, which is your other option. Since I don't need this screen, I'll just go over to the radio screen and now the Flex is fat the Maestro rather has found that the Flex 6300 is available I can connect to it like that now I'm seeing the firmware that is being run if the firmware is updated or the software and the software is updated it, the this will be down and the earliest version will be on top that way there's no mistakes. Now, on the front panel, we have a group of buttons. The Maestro is capable of showing two slice receivers. These buttons control the slice A and these buttons control slice B. And as you can see, I have them both active right now. The active slice is going to be the yellow, the one with the yellow here. The A1 is, going, is inactive. Large button controls A and I've just made it active. Now the B is active. And I can pretty much tune across the band. I can adjust the pan adapters for up to, in the case of the 6300, 7 megahertz of bandwidth. I'm going to uh, just go through these controls for a sec. You have your audio here and uh, here. This is the A slice. Which is, there's very little out there on the uh, tw on 20 meters today. And the B slice over here. I have that set up on 40 meters and it's a little more active. Okay. You can adjust all, all of the features the same way as you could adjust them using the computer uh, running Smart SDR. Your bandwidth is controlled from these two buttons and you can control it in two different ways. Right now, the low cut is controlled with the inner button and the high cut is controlled with the outer button. If I just push and hold that, now 
the inner button picks the center frequency and the outer button picks the bandwidth. So just two, two ways of doing the same thing but whatever the user would prefer. Now we have the exact same situation on the B side. The transmit is right here. You have a mic gain and you have a power setting. So you can go clear down from, uh, I think it's uh, 5 watts is the lowest, up to 100 watts. Your two main controls are here. This is going to be for the A. This is the B, the smaller one. Now these buttons have other functions. They also have switch functions. For example, if I push this in and hold it, I now have menu control over the A slice and I can select what bandwidth I want, what modulation I want, what uh, frequencies I want, or I can do direct entry. And I'll just touch a blank spot to get rid of that. And the same thing, it'll be the same screen actually for the B. This button here controls the transmit features. Here you can select whether you want the uh, DAX turned on or off, which profile you'd like for your microphones because the uh, Flex Radio will save several profiles for mic, for transmit, and for global, which means for all of them. Uh, good three years now. It's going to be our last year, too. Uh, oh, yeah. How big of a track you going to... Are you hearing any uh, background noise or anything in my in my audio? Anyway, I just like to keep it smooth and clean and uh, have a little fidelity to it. For more information on the Maestro, come and visit us at our shop or visit us on the web at www.radioworld.ca.